Hey, welcome. Today we're going to build a snowman using the iPad app Scratch Junior. So here we are and we're going to go to my coding folder and we're going to go to the Scratch Junior app. We're going to go home and here we have where we're going to put all of our projects. Today we're going to start a new project. So we're going to go to the plus and press the plus to start a new project. So today we're going to build a snowman. So we need to find some place that's cold. We're going to go up here to the very top in the middle. We're going to press that to find a background of some place that's really cold. All right, we're going to go to the Arctic. So down here at the bottom, we're going to press on the Arctic. And then we're going to check it to say that's the one we want. Awesome. Now we have Scratch in the Arctic. Well, Scratch wants to build a snowman today. So we're going to start by going to our paint editor. We're going to come over here to the left hand side of our screen and we're going to add a new character. So here I have some characters that I've already built, but today we're going to draw a new character. So we're going to come up here to the top to the paintbrush and we're going to press the paintbrush. Here we have a nice large canvas for us to draw a paint a snowman. So today we're going to start with the circle tool because when we're building a snowman we know we're going to need three circles all of different sizes. So we're going to start with the largest circle first. So we're going to come here to the shapes and we're going to press the circle tool. So we'll press the circle tool and then we're going to put our finger down on the canvas and then we're going to drag our finger diagonally until we get a big circle for our base. Now it doesn't really matter where you put it because we can always move these circles. So now we're going to come up and make our middle size circle. So we're going to again make sure that we're on our circle tool. We're going to put our finger down on the canvas and then we're going to drag diagonally. So see it's really not on top but that's okay because we can come over here to our drag tool which is this arrow here. So we're going to press our drag tool and we can drag our circle right there on top. Perfect. Now we need one more circle. We're going to come back over here to the circle tool. We're going to put our finger on the canvas and we're going to draw our last and our smallest circle. So I'm going to use my drag tool and I'm going to drag it way up here to the top. Now I think I'm going to adjust my snowballs there just like that yay I love that it's great so now I want to paint my circles white so I'm going to come over here to my paint bucket I'm going to press the paint bucket and I'm going to press the white paint and I'm just going to tap inside so I'm going to paint each one of my circles white and then I have my snowman's body all ready to go now I'm going to start with the head of my snowman. So I think my snowman needs some eyes and a mouth. So I'm going to come back to my circle tool. I'm going to press on my circle tool and this time I want to do like coal buttons for eyes and his mouth. So I'm going to pick the black paint and I have my circle button and then I'm just going to tap my finger on the canvas and look I have eyes. So I'm going to do one, two eyes then I think I'm going to do three for the mouth. So I think I'm going to do one, two, three. Now remember, I can put these anywhere on my canvas and then use my drag tool to drag them onto my snowman. So here's one eye, and there's his second eye, and then I'm going to drag over the circles for his mouth. And I'm going to make my snowman smiling. There he goes. There we go. So now, ooh, that just looks like a big circle. So, wait, grab him. Oh, I want to be careful with those little dots. I don't want them. I want to move him down. There we go. 
because I need to make room for his nose. So we're gonna make him a carrot nose. So we're gonna come over here to make his nose. We're gonna use the triangle tool this time. So I'm gonna highlight the triangle tool and I'm gonna come down here to my paint bucket because I'm gonna make sure his nose is orange. So now I'm gonna take my finger, I'm gonna put it on my canvas and I'm gonna drag it down to make a nose. So there's his carrot nose and I'm going to paint it with a paint bucket and I'm gonna make sure and just tap inside and make sure his nose is orange. Now here's kind of a tricky part. We're gonna go over here to the rotating tool. So do you see these arrows kind of chasing each other? That's gonna help us rotate his nose. So I highlighted the rotating tool and I'm gonna tap his nose. And then I'm just gonna turn his nose to the direction I think I'm gonna want him to go. Then I'm gonna attack my drag tool and I'm going to drag his nose right up here to his face. Ta-da! Now our snowman has a face. So I think I'm gonna put some buttons down his middle. So I'm gonna come back to our circle tool and I'm gonna make sure that I have some black paint and I'm gonna get one, two, three more buttons. Then I'm gonna drag those buttons over here to his middle. So one, two, oops, and three. I guess I could have just drawn them on there. Touch that. All right, we're just gonna have to go with that. All right, excellent. Now, there are a couple things that I think I would like to add to my accessories for my snowman. So I think I'd like to make him a hat. So I'm going to use the square tool and I'm going to build the top part of his hat. I want to make sure that my paint is black. I'm going to go to my square tool and I'm going to make a rectangle for his hat. And I'm going to use the paint bucket to paint it black. Now I'm going to make the bottom part of his hat. And then this time, instead of a big round circle, I'm going to do kind of a skinny oval like that. And then I'm going to paint it, oops, paint bucket, and paint it black. There we go. So now I'm going to drag this hat up here. I may have to move some of my pieces down. Let's see. There, there's his hat. I think I'm going to try dragging my pieces down just a little bit. There, there, there we go. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, now I think my snowman needs some arms. So I'm going to come over here to the drawing tool. It's kind of the squiggly line. So I'm gonna do the squiggly line right there and I'm gonna make sure my arms are brown. And then I'm gonna draw some arms for him. So, oh, wait a minute. I think those are skinny arms. So I don't like those arms. So you see the scissor tool? I'm gonna to use the scissor tool and I'm going to cut those arms out, just like that. Now I'm gonna come back over here and I want some arms that are a little fatter because right here I can decide on how thick my um, lines are. So now I'm going to do my drag. I'm going to come over here to my circle and I'm going to draw his arms. There. I'm going to move his arms down a little bit. There. I'm going to do my circle or my squiggly line and then I'm going to do my sticks. I'm going to draw another stick over here and draw two more sticks just like that. Excellent. And I think my snowman needs another accessory. I'm going to give him a red scarf. So I'm going to keep my red squiggle tool or my squiggle tool drawing tool there, but I'm going to get red this time and I'm going to draw a scarf around his neck. I'm going to try that again. Another tool that I, another tool that I could use is this, um, I can back it up and go backwards and delete it that way. So 
I'm going to try that scarf again. Let's see. There, I like that better. Excellent. All right. Actually, I think I'm going to even go a little bit fatter. Yeah. That looks good. There. Excellent. All right. So there's one little thing. I think his hat needs a little piece of color. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to get a smaller dot, maybe. And I'm going to go to the circle tool. And I'm going to do some holly here on his hat. I'm just going to do three little dots of red. And then I'm going to do maybe one little dot of green and give him some holly on his hat. I like, in fact, Holly, I think Holly would be a great name for my snowman. So do you see right up here where it says character? Well, I don't have to keep that. I can give my character a name. So I'm going to tap inside that box and I'm going to take out the character name and I'm going to name my snowman Holly. So I'm going to do H-O-L-L-Y. And then I have a snowman named Holly. So I love my snowman looking good. I'm going to check the X to say, yes, I like that snowman. And there it is. So I have my snowman in the Arctic snow. Now here's a challenge for you. You can take the snowman in the Arctic snow and add some details if you would like. Or you can just keep it the way it is. I think I'm going to add a few more details to my Arctic scene here. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add another character. So here I have my cat and Holly, my snowman. I'm gonna add one more character because I saw a character down here that lives in the Arctic and I'm gonna pick the penguin. So I like that penguin, I'm gonna check it. And then I'm gonna move my penguin to this little block of ice. So see when I click on Holly, I can move Holly also. And then when I click on the cat, I can move the cat. Now I think it would be fun if the cat moved over here to the snowman. So I'm going to make sure that I'm on the cat and down here in my programming space, I'm going to write a program so that my cat could go and meet his new friend Holly. So. I'm going to start with a triggering block. I'm going to come here to the yellow triggering blocks and I'm going to find the green flag. So here with my green flag, I'm going to start running my program on the green flag and then I want my cat to move forward to the snowman. So I'm going to come here to my movement blocks and I'm going to find my forward arrow and I'm going to drag it down. So it looks like it might be maybe one, two, three. Okay, so let's try that. So one, two, three. So let's test that program. So I'm gonna press the green flag and test my program. Yay, but I, he's not quite to the snowman. So what do you think? Should I add maybe one, oops, two more arrows. So let's take our cat back to the start position and then I'm going to press the green flag and yay she made it all the way to Holly this time. Now those of you who have figured it out I might be able to shorten this program just a little bit. So here I have one, two, three, four, five arrows so instead of having all five of those arrows, I could make my program more efficient by touching that little number and just putting in the number five. Now I can take off all of these arrows and drag them back up and get rid of those. And my program, let's take scratch back to the start and press the green flag. And there he goes all the way to Holly. All right, so we're going to put Scratch in her starting position. And do you see this little arrow up here? That says, that sets it at the home position. So now Scratch, anytime I press that, it's going to go back to her home position. So now Scratch is going to go and meet Holly. And I think maybe Scratch ought to say, hi, Holly. So right here in the looks blocks, I'm going to press that. And then I have a speech bubble. 
So I'm going to pull this speech bubble down. And instead of high, I'm going to press that. And I'm going to X that out. And I'm going to say, Hi, Holly. Then, so now, when I press the green flag, it's going to go forward five and then say, Hi, Holly. So let's press the green flag and see if that works. Hi, Holly. Yay, we did it. That looks great. So we're going to press this little arrow here to go back to start position. And then maybe we could have our penguin say something. So let's come down here to the penguin. And let's say, hmm, let's go to our triggering blocks. And this time, instead of on the green go, let's put when we touch. So we're going to trigger it by touching her. So when we touch the penguin, we're going to go to the looks blocks. And she's going to say, we're going to X that out. We're going to say, this is fun. So this is fun. Okay. And maybe she would like to move. Let's have her jump up and down. So we're going to go to our movement blocks. And if we look at our blocks, we have a jumping block right here. So we're going to have her jump one time. Yeah, hop. All right. So, so when we touch her, she's going to say, this is fun. And then she's going to jump just like that. Should we have her jump twice? Let's have her jump twice. Because this number here is not how many times she's jumping. That's how high she's jumping. So, all right. So I think we have Cat meeting Holly. We have our penguin who's excited to be here in the Arctic. Okay, now let's give our story a name. So we're going to come here to the ABC block. We're going to press that. And we're going to say, fun in the snow. Fun in the snow. That's a great name for our project. So would you like to see your story in full screen? So do you see this paper here with the handles on it? So we're going to press that. That's going to take us full screen. Ah, it's just like magic. All right, so now when we press the green flag, Scratch is going to come meet the snowman. And then when we touch the penguin, it should jump up and down and say, this is fun. So let's see if it works. Press the green flag. Hi, Holly. Press the penguin. This is fun. All right. This looks like a great story. Thank you for building a snowman with us today.